Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be talking about NVIDIA Omniverse Audio to Face. Now, recently, Audio to Face was updated, and I think this is probably the best update we've ever gotten with NVIDIA Omniverse Audio to Face. If you have no idea what Audio to Face is, it's basically a way for you to animate characters. In this case, we're going to be using MetaHumans using just audio. I know it's mind blowing. I've made a couple tutorials about it last year whenever it first came out, but this right here is very exciting stuff because they made it so easy. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I am in the NVIDIA Omniverse launcher here and I already downloaded the actual current version, which is 2023.1.1. If you don't know where to get that, just go to the exchange and you're gonna download it right here. As you can see, I already have uh, 2023.1.1, I already have that set up. But before I had launched that, let me go ahead and show you how to actually install the plugin for Unreal Engine 5.1 and I believe 5.2. So to actually get the plugin started, go ahead and go to the library, go to audio to face right here, click these three lines, and then go to settings, access the audio to face folder right here, and go to UE plugins, UE plugins, and you're gonna see we have 5.1 and we have 5.2.1. So this works with the current version of 5.2. Now, not three yet because obviously that just came out. So I'll double click this and I'm gonna copy this folder right here and then go to my project, find your project that you're working on and then just create a plugins folder and then copy and paste that folder into here. If you want to install this in your actual engine, that's fine as well, I'll show you how to do that. So I'll go to my PC, <laughs> there's all my hard drives, C, program files, and then we're gonna go to Epic Games right here go to the version that you want to install it to. In our case, it's 5.2. Let's go to engine, go to plugins. And then I usually have a marketplace here where I just kind of put everything in there and I'll just copy and paste it there so that it's going to be available in our entire engine too, which is super cool. So I'll minimize this here and I have the project opened right here. And if I go to edit plugins, since we copied and pasted it straight to the project, I should already have that in here. So let me type in Omniverse right here. And as you can see, on reverse audio to face live link is already turned on. I have the check mark right here, which is good to go. So with that being said, after the installation is done, let's go ahead and launch audio to face. So launch this. So if this is your first time launching audio to face, you are going to have to build the tensor engine. So it might take a little bit longer. All right. So now that we have audio to face open, I'm going to scroll down and we're looking for the Claire solved AR kit. I'm going to double click that and that's going to open it up. All right, so now that we have both the audio to face on the left and my Unreal Engine 5 project on the right, now you can see it a little bit better, all right? So let me move this a little bit closer because I do need to access this here. We're gonna go to the audio to face and we're gonna untroll this right here and we're gonna go to stream live link. Now the sweetest part about this plugin is that we no longer have to really export anything like we've done before, like FBX or anything like that we can actually stream this data straight right into Unreal Engine, which is freaking sweet using LiveLink. LiveLink is amazing. So just to make sure that we have LiveLink turned on, I'll go to plugins and I'll type in, just kind of make sure that we have everything covered. Everything's good to go, it's enabled. And as you can see right here, it's actually here already in my window. If you don't know where to get that, go to window, virtual production, and then LiveLink, and that's gonna open up right here. Amazing stuff. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down right here. So by default, this is actually gonna play back the audio on your computer and it's going to stream the data to Unreal Engine. So what I'm gonna do here instead of doing that, I'm just going to have it stream straight to Unreal Engine instead of playing back in my headphones because I don't wanna get two things, all right? So what I'll do is I'll click on activate right here and I'm gonna say enable audio stream. Additionally, I'm going to my windows and I'm just gonna say app sounds and in this audio to face right here, I'm just going to mute this because again, we want it to play back only once. I don't want it to double up because that would be really annoying. And I'll put my earpiece here uh, so I can kind of hear what, what's going on. All right, so the next step, we're going to go ahead and go back to Unreal Engine right now and go to source in video on reverse live link and just turn that on. Now the audio sample rate, I'm not sure what they're using in here. So I'm just gonna select 44. They might be using 48, I don't know, but I'm just gonna set that for that and then press okay. So that's gonna be turned on. And then in audio to face, I'm gonna go to this tab and then in this tab, I'm gonna change this from Chinese to English. Let's see here, English, female. We do have a female character, so give me a second. English, female, right here, Lindy, A-E-E-C is fine. 
we're going to have that turned on. And as you can see, it's going to enable the live link already. That means it's ready to go. Next, what we're going to do is I have my MetaHuman selected. And in the live link AR kit face subject, I'm going to select audio to face. That's right here. And I'm going to say use AR kit right here. And as you can see, that character is going to snap. Now, what's cool about this is, again, the MetaHuman blueprint is already set up. You just click it, change these, and you're pretty much good to go. So now if I press play. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? And that's pretty much it. That is how easy this workflow is now. And what's crazy about this, again, they also have audio to emotion now. And yes, it is compatible with the MetaHuman. So what that means is I can actually switch these parameters and you can see it live. Like you can change how this is being driven from audio to face. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? If you can't afford an iPhone for facial animation for a MetaHuman, additionally, if you're trying to create an AI avatar or a customer service type of deal or a greeter or a phone or whatever, this is the perfect way, I think is the best way to do audio to facial animation right now, to be honest. Uh, I don't. I haven't seen anything as good as this as far as audio to facial animation. This is mind blowing. This is insane. It can save you a lot of time and a lot of money. And and I'm bringing this up because a couple of days ago we had a live stream in Nvidia Omniverse where we talked about the AI NPC thing, which is actually going viral right now. Everybody wants AI NPCs in their games now, and. Uh, Convey, the company that's making that, the company that was doing the demo a couple of days ago, um, they actually are, they are planning on using audio to face with Convey to improve the facial animation. Because you all know, I've made a couple of videos about Convey on the channel and a lot of people were saying, hey, the facial animation is not that good. Well, you know what? I'm looking forward to the day that they can actually deliver Convey and audio to face. Uh, with that plugin in Unreal Engine, again, that's going to be freaking mind-blowing. And to be honest, I think I'm not alone when I say it, that AI NPCs, that's going to be the future of gaming. So that's why I am super stoked about this technology right here. And I'm so glad that they're improving it, man, because I, I, I it's just, I mean, honestly, compared to the video I made, I think it was a year ago, two years ago, when I made a tutorial from Audio to Face to MetaHuman, this is really a couple of clicks away. I mean, that's really props to the NVIDIA Omniverse team. They're taking feedback and they're implementing that and it's truly amazing. But but yeah, with that being said, what I'm looking forward to is actually NVIDIA Omniverse audio to face uh, taking advantage of the MetaHuman's facial bones. This is using the AR kit. But as you all know, the MetaHuman face uh, actually has a lot more bones inside it if you take a look at it open it up you'll see there's so much going on and i'm hoping that eventually we would be able to get access to that because that is going to make this facial animation look so much better i mean honestly it looks good right now the ar kit doesn't look bad it uses the same thing that we use for our live link here but man wouldn't that be crazy if they're able to do this with the actual entire uh, meta human facial system that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. What y'all think about this new update from NVIDIA Omniverse Audio to Face? I think it is freaking awesome. And I'm going to be playing around with it a little bit more just to tweak the shapes and things like that. Because honestly, we have so many more freaking sliders in here now. So yeah, it's going to take a minute. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.